Welcome to my YouTube channel. Tonight I'm going to be doing art show and the art show I'm going to be doing is making some Halloween bookmarks because as I said it's Halloween this month so I thought I'll do that and I'm going to make um, some other things next week because this week I was going to make this um, thing that I was going to make for my sister for Christmas but I can't make it without glue so I will do that one next week and tonight I'm going to do some Halloween bookmarks so yeah so first things first I'm going to be using some of this velcro sheets sheets I think they're velcro sheets I don't know um but yeah so I'm going to use those and it comes in different kind of colors and I'm going to be using some glitter pens and some designing paper and some textures. So, and I'm going to be using some sticky tape, some glue, and some scissors, of course. Maybe staple as well. I don't know. Okay, so the first things first, I grab the colour that I want for my bookmark. And you can buy these from the art shop. These are marked down $2, but they're probably like $5 or $6 um, to make a velvet um, bookmark. You can do that. Um, and I can show you other ways to make bookmarks if you don't have any velvet. There's a lot of ways to make one. Okay, so with my bookmark, I'm going to pick a red velvet. And um, what I do with that is got to make sure how big I want the bookmark. So I'm going to use uh, textures. I don't have a ruler. Oh, pens here. Oopsie. So I'm going to use a pen. And I am just going, oh, yeah, do have a ruler. And see the ruler size? You can use it as your ruler size for a bookmark, whatever you want to do. So what I'm going to do is use my ruler and I'm going to um, measure the bookmark that I want. So it's going to be a ruler size bookmark. So it's just a straight line across. And then I'm going to make another straight line across. Because it, it, you can make a thick bookmark if you want, plus uh, it's up to you. So I'm making a thicker bookmark. So I want to do the same thing I just did then by putting a line across. This looks pretty big. <laughs> looks like a very big bookmark. Um, so, yeah. So um, if you've done a mistake, um, which I just did. Um, just grab the ruler again and do the way you want it. So as I said, I want it a bit thicker. So, yeah. Then that is the size I'm going to have. Not that size. It's too big. So I'm going to use a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut the velvet straight across. And then straight across again. And you don't want the lines to be there. So I'm going to cut the line off. So that's a bookmark. Just going to cut the line. make it look good so to make it a bit thicker than that because look how thin it is um, I'm going to cut another side of um, velvet so I'm just going to cut shape by shape so you just make sure you mark it that's what I want so I'm just going to cut it again okay. I'll show you why in a minute? Oopsie. Just get that off there. Size to size. We don't need a foot, so I'm going to cut that foot off. And now I'm just going to measure it again and just cut the length I want for the bookmark. Okay. 
So, so there it is. That's going to be a thick bookmark. Now, what I'm going to use, you can use glue or sticky tape or whatever you want to. Um, I'm going to actually use some glue, but it might not stick, so I think I'm going to use some sticky tape. So I'm just going to put bookmark to bookmark, like that. And I'm just going to have to cut this glue off. So you don't want any glue on the bookmark. Um, it's up to you if you do. Because we're going to decorate it later anyway, which I'm going to show you how and so forth. So we grab some sticky tape or glue, whatever you want to use. And I'm going to sticky tape bookmark to bookmark. So I'm going to put a sticky tape in the middle. And roll it over. And then I'm going to do the same for the two sides. And you won't really see the sticky tape the way that I'll show you how you're not going to see it. So. so as I said, you can use glue to sticky tape it together or you can use sticky tape to make it a thicker bookmark. So that's what I've done. Now, um, so after that, I'm going to just use this so I don't wreck anything. Um, we've got some glitter pens, but first we're going to use some paper. Now the paper is for decoration, which I'm going to show you how. Now I'm making this for my husband for his when he reads books and stuff. So I'm going to find a boy colour of paper. Green is boy colour. So is leopard. So I'm going to use a bit of a leopard kind of colour. So what I'm going to do is take this side off. You grab your bookmark that you've done and you pop it on the piece of paper and then you and then you fold it. Not fold it, I mean I'll show you what I mean. So you grab your bookmark, pop it into the piece of paper, and then put it in the middle and then you keep going folding it like if you know wrapping the birthday present basically. So yeah. So that's what I'm doing with this. I think a very thick bookmark, but a really nice one too. Okay. So make sure you've got the bookmark in place. So, see there? Okay. So, you just grab the scissors and make sure you don't cut the bookmark. Sometimes you can have a look and make sure the bookmark is not cutting. Which I better. Okay. Alright, sorry guys. So, I just don't want to cut the bookmark. So I'm just going to cut and you don't know if you're cutting it, so I'm going to watch the only thing. So first things first is you grab some sticky tape or glue. Sticky tape is the best because glue um, come off. It depends what glue you use. So if you use super glue, that will stick. If you don't use any super glue and you use other glue, it won't stay and you want it to stay especially if you're going to use it for a book and whatever okay so you sticky tape that part of the bookmark then you grab your scissors and you cut half of that and half of that then you grab the corners and you fold it back. You grab some sticky tape and sticky tape and turn it around like you did with the other thing. Do the same again. Fold it, grab some sticky tape and sticky tape it around. there's so far your bookmark right then what you do is to cover the sticky tape you can color it in whatever you want to do so first things first you don't have to cover the sticky tape to tell you the truth with this leftover piece of paper you can keep decorating it as much as you like up to you so what I'm going to use is some glitter pens 
Now, because this is going to be a Halloween uh, card, I'm going to be using some orange glitter pens. And then I'm going to grab some Halloween decorations, which I'm going to grab them that are in the cupboard. Okay, so I'm going to use some red. Um, some red glitter first. And I'm just going to put red. Little. So it's like a little red dot. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Because as I said, it's a Halloween card, so I'm making it a bit scary. So that's what I'm doing with the red. Um, then I'm going to be using some gold. Mm, God's not looking. All right. Now I'm going to grab the Halloween thingies. I'm going to use the Halloween confetti and I'm going to pick, you can use some spiders, I'm going to put some spiders, so you can grab your glue for this one. So I'm going to grab my glue, oh. and I'm going to put glue there, on there, and on the side. Depends how... Um, Scary and what's your card, uh, your bookmark to be for Halloween. So I'm going to put some spiders on. And then I've got some orange spiders. So I'm going to put some orange spiders. And then I'm going to put some more spiders. And some more spiders. And some more spiders. And more spiders. These are so scary. You can put some on the glitter, which I'm going to do that because it will probably stick. And if you have a look, there's my Halloween bookmark. Not finished yet though. Uh, okay, so I'm going to grab some pumpkins. So if there's some glitter room, I'm going to grab a black pumpkin. I'm going to stick it upwards, there we go, in the spider, and I'll do the same thing near the, okay, so, I'm just going to grab some more glue, and do the same thing again by sticking the pumpkin, oops, and grab some more glue, And stick the pumpkins on the bookmark. And there's the Halloween bookmark. Looks really cool. Um, so what I'm going to do now to finish the bookmark is you've got to have to let it dry. Um, but this is actually the finished, but I really wanted to show you it in a book. So I'm going to have to show it when it dries, which it won't be today. Um, so I will probably show you that tomorrow night, the finished, by putting the bookmark in a book and showing you how to use it and so forth. Um, so yeah, so that's the end of the bookmark. It's finished. Um, as I said, I need to let it dry so I can put it in a book and show you guys. Um, but that's other ways. This is a way you can do a, a Halloween bookmark. So yeah, so that is finished. Now I'm going to be doing another show for you guys tonight. Not only only do one, um, but as I said, that's going to dry and it was a very easy thing to do. So yeah. Okay, so the next thing is with the rest of the velvet, you can make anything you like. So because it's Halloween soon, I thought I'm going to make something to put on the door of the front door, something a bit scary, spooky, and Halloweenish. So I'm going to use some red velvet, and I'm going to cut the areas that I don't need. Now 
And then I'm going to make some nice um, triangle corners. On side. So there you go. Then I'm going to be doing some gluing, probably some sticky taping, whatever. Or maybe use some glitter pens. Um, but first thing is first, I've got to write what it is. So I'm going to use a black texture. And I'm going to write... Mitchell, what? how do you spell Halloween? H-A-L-L H-A-L-L O-W H-A-L-L O-W E-E-N 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 So there we go, so I've wrote Halloween on top with some black texture then I'm going to fix it so it looks really groovy. I'm just going to colour in the O in black. And I'm going to colour the A in black too. If you hear that beeping noise, that's my washing machine again. <laughs> so just colouring in the H. in red. So there we go, it says Halloween. Now, I'm going to grab some glue and I've got some nice um, confetti which I'm going to use. So I'm going to use that. So I'm going to do some gluing. So first things first, I'm going to glue some spiders. Then I'm going to glue some pumpkins. You can put the pumpkins any way you want, really. And then I'm going to glue. I haven't used these ones yet. Some pussy cat. I want to make this a pretty scary for my front door for Halloween. So I'm going to stick some cool pussycats on top. So if you can see that, how cool does that look? It's like a spooky Halloween thing for the door. Okay, so I'm not finished yet. So I've done the gluing side of things. Now I'm going to be using the rest of the paper I used for the bookmark. Now I'm going to be doing some probably some gluing or some sticky taping and I'll show you why in a minute. I'm going to use half of these triangles, which 
actually. Mm -hmm. so just, just thinking, guys. Something of black and white will be. Uh huh. I think I've got the idea now. I'm going to grab a different piece of paper. I'm going to mix something a bit. Perfect. Black. Last one. Okay, so I'm going to just take some of this stuff off again. So I'm going to use this colour taper and I'll show you why. Now I'm going to grab my sign. And I'm going to stick it on this piece of paper. As I said, I'm going to use sticky tape because it will stay more. So I'm going to grab some sticky tape and stick it down. So I'm going to do two sides to sticky this sign down. Make sure it stays because it's going to be on the front door. You don't want it to fall off the door. I'll show you why I'm doing this. So you have to sticky tape the whole thing. Well, as I said, you can use glue, but if you use glue, um, it should be like super glue so it can stay on the piece of paper because it's a bit something a bit heavy that you're sticking on that might not stay. And as I said, you want it to stay, you don't want it to fall off the door, so I recommend sticky tape. Okay, so there it is. Now I'm going to grab the scissors and trace it over. Then, if it's think you think you need to put more sticky tape, put more sticky tape. It's up to you. Then after that, you grab a hole puncher. And you can put it on the paperwork. And you put two holes on top. You can see that. It's a bit thin. That's going to break. That's going to break that book. <laughs> Just make sure you... Um, there we go. Okay, so I've did another extra hole so it doesn't break. There we go. Then you can grab some string or some ribbon, whatever you want. Um, so I might use this, see if this works. What's my scissors? Oh, yeah. I want to see if velvet works through it. I don't know if it does. Might not work, so not velvet. Okay. So, um, let me sec, just got to find some string. It's my whistle, put my whistle on there. Okay. Okay. So I'll be taking string. Oh, perfect. So I'm going to use some pink wool. That's a really cool string. A bit colourful. And I'm not going to use it as much because I just want it to look sensible on my door. So I'm going to just use a half of pink string. So what you do is you pop it into the hole and you tie it in a knot as first. So that's what I'm doing. So you do one. And then you do two, 
to make sure it stays. Then you do the same thing on the other side. So you pop it through the loop and you do one. Make sure it stays and then you do two. Okay. Then there's the sign for your door for Halloween. Um, these signs are very easy to make. Um, so if you would like to make a sign, um, follow this channel and you can make a sign like this. Um, I used velvet for this sign. You can use paper, cardboard, whatever you want to do. And you can make a sign just like the one I made. Um, if you want to make a Halloween sign, um, this is the, the go to make it. Uh, next week I'll be showing you how to make a Christmas sign for your front door and some more Christmas goodies and fun things. Um, so yeah, so that's the end of my art show tonight. If you like my art and craft of making Halloween bookmarks and Halloween sign, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I do more art shows every Tuesday. I love you lots. Don't forget to have a good night, a good day. Don't forget to smile. Thank you very much for all the support.